Hi, I'm Sierra Morris and this is Checking the Chicks. In this video, I'll be talking about basic biosecurity for your backyard flock. Biosecurity is the procedures and tasks that are done to protect people and animals from harmful biological agents. Biosecurity as it relates to backyard poultry is used as a catch-all term for the tasks and precautions you take to prevent diseases, pests, parasites, bacteria, and viruses from impacting your flock. The absolute best practices for your specific flock situation are going to be heavily influenced by things like your region, the purpose of your birds, and your regular maintenance practices. This video is only going to be broad strokes, very basic information to help you get started learning ways to protect your flock and keep them healthy. This isn't designed to protect your flock from any one specific or all possible poultry ailments. I'm going to try and share methods that apply to most situations. And here's the disclaimer. I'm not a veterinary professional and I'm not an agricultural professional. This information that I share in this video is not meant to replace or substitute any sort of livestock care professional services of any kind whatsoever. Please always do your own and additional research and consult a veterinarian whenever necessary. Daily health management and sound care routines are the support a healthy flock needs to maintain their overall health, happiness, productivity, and general wellness. A sound basic care routine preemptively thwarts many common backyard chicken ailments. Begin with healthy birds from a hatchery or a reputable breeder whenever that's possible. When purchasing chickens from a poultry swap or a box store or any external source whatsoever, be sure to observe an isolation period with a minimum of two weeks of isolation, but preferably 30 days if that's at all practical or possible to ensure your new birds are healthy before introducing them to your existing flock. Provide your backyard chickens with adequate and proper nutrition for their purpose. Make sure your chickens have access to fresh water every day. Protect your chickens with a predator-proof, well-ventilated environment in the form of the infrastructure that is most appropriate for your specific flock situation. In the case of our backyard flock, this means a predator-proof coop and a spacious run with enough square feet of space for the whole flock. Avoid overcrowding. Inadequate space creates stress and exacerbates the conditions which lead to and cause many backyard chicken diseases. Maintain good sanitation and cleaning habits by removing excess droppings as they accumulate and keeping both your ground cover litter and your nesting box lining as fresh as appropriate and as possible for your chosen care method. Regularly monitor the chicken areas your flock has access to, like their run and your backyard for signs of harmful debris or garbage. Don't let people flick cigarette butts into your yard and regularly examine the places that your chickens have access to for any debris that could be harmful to them. Remove any carcasses left behind by wild animals or outdoor working animals for your chickens so they don't come into contact with them. One of the best things you can do to protect your flock from potential harm from contagious poultry diseases is to observe that recommended isolation period whenever introducing new members, whether they are fully feathered chicks or new adult chickens that you've just adopted. That isolation period is critical to be sure your chickens are not inadvertently introduced to diseases or pests from the previous flock. The isolation space for your new chickens should be as far away physically from your existing flock as possible. Just a tarp divide is not adequate protection between new and existing flock members. When you visit other people's flocks or they visit yours, don't walk in their chicken area, specifically their coop or run where there's accumulated droppings, and also don't let visitors walk through your own coop or run. This is one of the hardest precautions to observe, but it is possible to track unwanted pests and other diseases by physically touring someone else's chicken facilities and then walking in your own. You can use disposable shoe covers when viewing other people's chicken facilities or ask them to wear something similar when viewing yours. Our personal take on this on our homestead in light of the concern over communicable poultry diseases, I just simply do not allow visitors to walk inside my chicken facilities anymore. Dealing with their disappointment is much better than dealing with sick chickens. Have dedicated livestock shoes or boots that you only wear when working in your yard with your chickens. Don't wear these boots in your home or out in public. Having dedicated livestock footwear and equipment ensures you don't track germs into your home and that you don't bring germs back from public areas. Wash your hands with soap before and after doing maintenance of your chicken area. Don't attract wild birds to your chicken area. If you do have things like wild bird baths or feeders on your property, make sure they are as far away from your chickens as possible. 
Unwanted pests and diseases can be spread from wild bird droppings, so if you are feeding wild birds, just make sure that those accessories are as far away from any areas your chickens have access to as possible. Don't touch or refill wild bird equipment before tending to your own flock. Tend to your chickens first, then touch wild bird accessories. Never, ever, 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 ever mix wild bird equipment and chicken equipment. Thoroughly wash your hands before and after handling anything that touches wild birds. Thoroughly disinfect your own chicken equipment on a regular basis. If you acquire any used equipment, make sure it's thoroughly cleaned and dried before using it with your own flock. You can use a mild soap like Dawn dish soap or an all-natural Castile soap to clean equipment. Remove all soap residue and dry thoroughly before using the equipment with your own flock. Keep unwanted insects and rodents away from your flock. General good sanitation will discourage the presence of insects and rodents in and around your chicken area. Depending on the severity of the pest pressure in your area, it may be necessary to store your chicken food and water in a weatherproof container overnight and hang it in the morning for your flock to access to avoid inadvertently feeding rodents and other pests. I do a whole video about how to avoid attracting rodents to your chicken area and I'll link that video below. Always care for your younger birds first. Chicks don't have the developed immune systems that older birds do, and caring for the flock before you care for your new chicks can actually accidentally expose them to too many biological elements too soon. Germs that are totally harmless to adult birds can be harmful or deadly to chicks. Always wash your hands before and after you handle chicks or any medically fragile members of your flock. It's advisable to only medicate your chickens when necessary and to consider milder, natural treatments before resorting to harsher chemical treatments. Refer to the above disclaimer. Always use your own personal judgment for your situation and always consult a veterinary professional when necessary, but consider remedying other possible causes and using milder natural remedies before resorting to harsh medications. Some medications require an egg withdrawal period, which means some of the medicines you can use with your backyard flock make the eggs unusable for a certain amount of time. I have in fact used both natural and harsher chemical remedies when necessary for my backyard chickens. Sometimes the best thing you can do for a chicken is to place them in isolation and allow them a few days of isolation with their own food, water, and grit while you explore the particulars of their issues. You can help restore your chicken's gut health after being medicated with a mild probiotic additive or by mixing in a spoonful of plain yogurt and honey with some fermented chicken feed for them to eat after they've been medicated. Always consult a veterinary professional when necessary and use your own personal judgment for your situation and your flock. Reduce the stress in your backyard flock. Diseases are devastating and rampant in industrial food environments because the animals in these environments are being kept in overcrowded, stressful, and profoundly unnatural conditions. Provide your chickens with a safe, predator-proof environment. Allow them access to fresh air and sunshine. If you don't have the option to free range your chickens, you can provide your chickens with a spacious run or a channel to give them access to fresh air, sunshine, and more areas to explore. Boredom is a form of stress for chickens. Provide enrichment, adequate perches, and nesting boxes, and as much space for your flock as you feasibly can. Meeting your flock's basic needs for protection, food, water, and space allows their bodies to stay strong and naturally prevents many common ailments. I hope some of the tips that I shared in this video will be helpful for you keeping your backyard flock healthy and safe. This wasn't intended to be a specific or all-inclusive video, but I hoped I hit some basic broad strokes to help you start your journey and research for learning how to keep your backyard flock healthy and safe. If you're enjoying my content and the information I'm sharing is helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe. We would love to have you as part of our flock. Lots of love from our coop to yours. See you next time.